And now to a developing story. Two very different versions of what happened the night a three-year-old girl was killed in a mobile home fire in Greeley. Russell Haythorn going through the arrest affidavit unsealed today. And Russell, it appears someone's not telling the truth. Yeah, and according to this arrest affidavit, the mother says she was taking out the trash and was gone for five minutes. But the boyfriend tells a different story. He says they were both out here smoking pot and drinking, and then they visited a friend down the way for more than 15 minutes. Police say the fire that destroyed this mobile home and killed three-year-old Lily Kellenaires may have started as a result of a bandana tied over a light in the living room. Arrest affidavits also indicate the little girl's mother, Kristen Bragg, and the mother's boyfriend were on the front porch smoking marijuana and drinking alcohol minutes before the fire. Then, according to a friend, Sean Stoos, the mother and boyfriend visited Sean for about 15 minutes at his trailer 200 feet away and when they returned, their trailer with the little girl inside was on fire. The mother tried to run in and save the girl but felt her hair on fire, so she retreated. Neighbors witnessed the chaos that happened next. I just kept on hearing the mom say, my daughter's in there, my daughter's in there. This man c comes out with his daughter in his arms. I thought it was his daughter, and he, he said, help my daughter, help my daughter. According to the affidavit, the mother told police she took the trash out and was gone for five minutes. But Stoos told us off camera both the mother and boyfriend were at his house for 15 minutes. Eventually, the boyfriend, Dustin Blanchard, ran into the trailer, threw the child out the window, and then jumped out the window himself. The girl was placed on a car hood and given CPR, but later died at the hospital. This affidavit also indicates that firefighters who were battling the blaze heard gunshots inside this trailer. The boyfriend told police he did have three loaded guns inside the trailer. Both the boyfriend and the mother have bonded out of jail. They're due back in court in February on child abuse and neglect charges. Live in Greeley, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.